Cam Newton celebrates one of his four touchdowns in Carolina's win in New England were at the quarter mark of the 2017 NFL season, with the league's best and worst beginning to become apparent. But who were the top performing teams and who must have better specifically in week four? There's top marks for the Los Angeles Rams, Buffalo Bills and Carolina Panthers after upset road wins, but big, fat, fails for the Miami Dolphins and Cleveland Browns. Here's a look at our weekly team grades. NFC East Philadelphia Eagles W2624 at Los Angeles Chargers Legorette Blount went all best mode in Philadelphia's road win in Los Angeles The Eagles go into Los Angeles and come away with a slender wink the third of an impressive start to the season. Running back 1-2 punch of Legorette Blount 136 yards and Wendell Smallwood 34 yards 1 TD continue to impress. Greater Dallas Cowboys L3035 v Los Angeles Rams in any other season specifically last year this would have looked like a real upset at home for the Cowboys but, in truth, Dallas were just edged out by a superior side. This Los Angeles outfit looked legit, running up the scoreboard in excess of 30 points for the third time this season. The Cowboys kept pace as best they could Dark Prescott throwing three TDs but it just wasn't enough. Grade C Washington Redskins L2029 and Kansas City The Redskins didn't do much wrong either. They were competitive once again and nearly came away with back-to-back -back wins over teams in arguably the best division in football right now, the AFC West. The one area they could improve is the run game Sir Ajay Perrin, Rob Kelly and Chris Thompson split carries but none could manage more than 27 yards. Grade C Highlights of the Kansas City Chiefs win over Washington in Week 4 of the NFL Highlights of the Kansas City Chiefs win over Washington in Week 4 of the NFL. New York Giants L2325 at Tampa Bay The Giants just can't buy a win New York suffer a fourth defeat in a row to start the season, with the latest two of those both decided by game-winning field goals Nick Folk's 34-yard effort doing the damage this week following Jake Elliott's 61-yard stunner for Philadelphia last week. Grady NFC North Detroit Lions W147 at Minnesota running back Amir Abdullah was the star performer for the Lions against the Vikings a strong divisional road win for the Lions, who normally rely so heavily on the gunslinging QB Matthew Stafford to get them out of jail in a shootout, but this time it was the strength of their defense and running game Amir Abdullah, 94 yards and 1 TD that inspired their victory. Greater Green Bay Packers W3514 v Chicago Just the four touchdowns from QB Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay's routine Thursday night win over Chicago, he loves playing them Bears Jordy Nelson also had a fine night, reeling in two of those TD passes on a 75-yard night. Great day highlights from the Chicago Bears visit to the Green Bay Packers in Week 4 of the NFL. Highlights from the Chicago Bears visit to the Green Bay Packers in Week 4 of the NFL. Minnesota Vikings L714 v Detroit The Dalvin Cook injury is a big blow to a team which has also been without its starting quarterback Sam Bradford in fact without two starting QBs, if you include Teddy Bridgewater in recent weeks. The rookie running back Cook tore the ACL in his knee in the Detroit defeat and will miss the rest of the season. Grade C Minnesota running back Dalvin Cook suffered a serious knee injury against the Detroit. Minnesota running back Dalvin Cook suffered a serious knee injury against the Detroit. Chicago Bears L1435 at Green Bay Mike Glennon had another poor night at quarterback, throwing two picks and a touchdown in the divisional defeat on the road in Green Bay. The talk is that rookie, and second overall pick in the draft, Mitch Trubisky is set to get the start in Glennon's place for the Monday night visit of Minnesota in Week 5. Great DNFC South Carolina Panthers W3330 at New England Cam Newton was back to his best in Carolina's road win over New England Super Cam Newton is back a certainly, it seems that way. It took a trip to the defending Super Bowl champions to shake him from his recent on we Newton ran over the New England D for one touchdown and threw for another three. Great Art Tampa Bay Buccaneers W2523 v New York Giants Nick Folk nailed a game winner as time expired to see Tampa Bay bounce back from a disappointing Week 3 defeat to Minnesota. QB Jameis Winston was back to being the good version of Jameis Winston in this one, throwing for 332 yards and 3 TDs. Great at New Orleans Saints W200 v Miami at Wembley Alvin Kamara breaks away for a touchdown against the Dolphins at Wembley The Saints win a second straight on the season with a shutout victory over the Dolphins in a real damp squib of a game at Wembley. 
as well as another impressive performance by the young New Orleans defense. The main bright spot of the game was the play of rookie running back Alvin Kamara, who had 10 catches out of the backfield for 71 yards and a score. Great Atlanta Falcons L1723 v Buffalo Atlanta lose their grip on the division ever so slightly with defeat to an admittedly impressive Buffalo outfit while their other three division rivals all earn wins. Not helping the matter is that they've got an extra week to stew on their only defeat of the season so far as they now head into their bye. Great CNFC West Los Angeles Rams W3530 at Dallas Rams QB Jared Goff has been hugely impressive to start his sophomore season in the NFL QB Jared Goff's Jekyll and Hyde turnaround in year two in the NFL continues with a TWOTD strong showing in the team's stunning road win in Dallas. He now has seven touchdowns to just the solitary interception so far this season, compared to the five picks he threw in his opening four games last year. Oh, and what about Todd Gurley? Well, he'll tell you. 121 yards on the ground, and 94 receiving, with one TD. That's what, great as Seattle Seahawks W4618 v Indianapolis better from Seattle the team has struggled, particularly on offense, at times through the first four games and though there was still some rustiness evident to Russell Wilson interceptions they were back to their explosive best in the second half to outscore the Colts 363. The injury to promising running back Chris Carson is a setback though. Grade A Seahawks RB Chris Carson suffered a significant knee injury against the Colts. Seahawks RB Chris Carson suffered a significant knee injury against the Colts. Arizona Cardinals W1815 v San Francisco Oaklutch from Larry Fitzgerald. The 34-year-old wide receiver broke the field goal monopoly against the 49ers with mere seconds remaining in overtime as he went up a reeled in Carson Palmer's game-winning TD pass. Grade B San Francisco 49ers L1518 at Arizona Oat San Francisco showed so much promise in putting up 39 points admittedly in defeat against the Rams in Week 3, but the offense was back to its soporific best, or worst if you like, against Arizona. The 49ers couldn't get into the end zone once, living off only field goals, and it was only their defensive display limiting the Cardinals to the same that took the game into overtime. Great DAFC East Buffalo Bills W2317 at Atlanta Buffalo, along with the Rams, are arguably the story of the season so far, particularly after this incredible upset win over the previously unbeaten Falcons. The defense played lights out, intercepting Matt Ryan twice, as well as returning a fumble of his for a touchdown, while they also restricted explosive wideout Julio Jones to just 30 yards on three receptions. Grade a New York Jets W2320 v Jacksonville OT Bilal Powell scores a 75-yard touchdown for the Jets against the Jaguars Bilal Powell scores a 75-yard touchdown for the Jets against the Jaguars Jets owe a surprise second win of the season to the running back pair of Bilal Powell and rookie Elijah Maguire. Powell clocked 163 yards off 21 carries, including a bizarre 75-yard score where it appeared he initially he had been tackled, while Maguire scored his first NFL TD, another monster 69-yard effort. Great A rookie Elijah Maguire scores his first ever NFL touchdown for the Jets rookie Elijah Maguire scores his first ever NFL touchdown for the Jets New England Patriots L3033 v Carolina despite Tom Brady's best efforts in other 300-yard day passing, including two TDs the Patriots slip to another defeat in front of their home fans. The defense looks particularly suspect, especially against the run. Genuine cause for concern for the reigning Super Bowl shoms. Great D Miami Dolphins L020 v New Orleans at Wembley Not many positives at all to take from their fourth trip to London, ten years on from their first. They at least managed ten points in defeat to the Giants on that occasion, in contrast to being bageled on this occasion. British-born running back JJ12 carries, 46 years had a couple of nice runs early on, but it's certainly WASNT the homecoming he was hoping for, a Thierry Henry hug aside. Grade F.A. looked back to how the world reacted to the more interesting moments from Week 4 in the NFL including a Dragon Ball Z celebration and lovely moment between J.J. and Thierry Henry. A look back to how the world reacted to the more interesting moments from Week 4 in the NFL including a Dragon Ball Z celebration and lovely moment between J.J. and Thierry Henry. Pittsburgh Steelers W269 at Baltimore The return of Levon Bell The Steelers' back has been conspicuous by his absence through the first three weeks of the season which saw him average a paltry 3.5 yards a carry. 
but, with a heavy workload of 35 carries in Baltimore, Bell clocked his first 100-yard game of the year, scoring two touchdowns on his way to a 144-yard effort on the ground. Gray Day highlights of the Week 4 clash between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL. Highlights of the Week 4 clash between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL. Cincinnati Bengals W317 at Cleveland That's more like it, if you're a Bengals fan. Their first win of the season, as impressive as it was, did only come against the lowly Browns, and there are still concerns over there. Running back B committee approach as Andy Dalton scrambled for a team-high 29 yards, but, his 4 TDs passing saw the team cruise to a comfortable win in Cleveland. Grade A Baltimore Ravens L926 v Pittsburgh Their offense, or lack of it, continues to be a major concern for Baltimore. They were held scoreless in the first half by division foes Pittsburgh and though QB Joe Flacco showed some signs of revival in the third quarter, leading two drives for 10 points, the comeback never really looked on. Grady Joe Flacco has badly struggled in back-to-back -back defeats for Baltimore Cleveland Browns L731 v Cincinnati Ohio to be a Browns fan Cleveland had been competitive-ish in their first three defeats of the season but, facing their most winnable game yet, at home, against division rivals and similarly winless Cincinnati, they collapsed. The defense made Dalton look like Tom Brady, while the offense were held scoreless until a Duke Johnson one-yard TD run in the fourth quarter. Grade FAFC South Houston Texans L5714 v Tennessee Far to win for the Texans and, what a performance from rookie QB Deshaun Watson if there were still any questions over his ability to cut it at the pro level following his initial promising displays to start the season, this 4 TD strong showing as well as one rushing score should dispel any doubts. Grade A Jacksonville Jaguars L2023 at New York Jets Otan as quickly as that, the Jags are back to their inconsistent best following a 447 thumping of the Ravens at Wembley last week, Jacksonville slipped to a surprise defeat in New York. Rookie running back Leonard Fournette was one bright spot, leading the team in rushing 86 yards and receiving 59 yards and a TD. Great Indianapolis Colts L 1846 at Seattle the Colts were competitive to a point, even holding a lead at halftime in Seattle, but things tailed off quite dramatically after the break as they added only three points to their score and conceded 36 while backup QB Jacoby Brissett was picked off once and lost a fumble, he still showed flashes of being a solid NFL starter. Grade D highlights of the Indianapolis Colts trip to the Seattle Seahawks in Week 4 of the NFL. Highlights of the Indianapolis Colts' trip to the Seattle Seahawks in Week 4 of the NFL. Tennessee Titans L1457 at Houston A disastrous day at the office against their divisional rivals. But, a hamstring injury to quarterback Marcus Mariota certainly didnt help. Admittedly, he wasnt having his best day, throwing two interceptions as did replacement Matt Castle but did at least run in for two scores. Gray DAFC West Kansas City Chiefs W2920 v Washington Wonderman running back Kareem Hunt has been a sensation so far for Kansas City Wonderman running back Kareem Hunt has been a sensation so far for Kansas City The Kansas City train keeps on rolling on, as they now sit as the NFL's only unbeaten team through four games of the season. They left it late on Monday night to earn the fourth of those wins, but still were mightily impressive in doing so. Rookie running sensation Kareem Hunt had another 100-yard game, and tight end Travis Kelce also hauled in 111 yards receiving plus a TD. Greater Denver Broncos W1610 v Oakland once again, the Denver defense was dominant, but once again it wasnt the famous no-fly zone defensive backfield necessarily doing the damage through four games of the season, the Broncos have held top-tier running backs Melvin Gordon, Ezekiel Elliott, Lesian McCoy and now Marshawn Lynch 12 yards to a combined 95 rushing yards on 50 carries. Gray Day highlights of the Oakland Raiders trip to the Denver Broncos in week four of the NFL. Highlights of the Oakland Raiders' trip to the Denver Broncos in Week 4 of the NFL Oakland Raiders L1016 at Denver It was also good in Oakland when starting the season, 20 and looking like potential Super Bowl challenges, but back to our back defeats and now a back injury to their young star quarterback Derek Carr who is set to be out for between two and six weeks means that the playoffs now could be a push in the ultra-competitive AFC West.
Grade D L Los Angeles Chargers L 2426 v Philadelphia Familiar story for the Chargers competitive throughout but once more unable to get over the line late on and so they slip to another slender defeat. One positive is, at least, that the aerial attack looks back to its best following three picks in the Week 3 defeat to the Chiefs. Philip Rivers tossed two touchdowns in this one, while receivers Keenan Allen and Terrell Williams both clocked 100-yard outings. Grade D